Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the paper presentation tips and tricks of BOM subject. So BOM will be there for semester one students. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the full clarity and about the paper presentation, how you need to prepare for the answers and how you need to prepare that answer have you need to present that answers in the examination booklet everything we will discuss in this video because many of the first year students are afraid about this subject not only this subject all the subject because they are uh, the in first semester only no so for that purpose i am doing this video i think that this video will be useful to you all okay so bom is means business organization management is your subject name and it is of 80 marks this subject will be there for bcom students whether they are pursuing bcom generals bcom uh, computer applications you will both will have the common subject of bom it's an easy 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 subject no need to worry about that subject no need to get tensed about the subject okay so in our channel i have already uploaded the important questions video if you can learn that video uh, important questions you can easily score oh grade in this subject that questions only will come in the examinations so that's why i have given that important questions if you want that important questions video means you can watch and check out in our channel so in the students total how many units you will have in bom subject means five units you will have total is of 80 marks and the time duration is three hours in that three hours you need to attempt 80 marks question paper in part a five questions you need to attempt each carries four marks that is 20 marks part a consists of 20 marks how many questions they will give total eight questions they will you out of eight questions you need to attempt any five questions only theory this subject is only for theory no problematic nothing will be there and part b part b also you need to attempt five questions each question carries 12 marks which is 60 marks part b consists of 60 marks 60 plus 20 80 marks ninth question will come from first unit 10th question will come from 2nd unit, 11th question will come from 3rd unit, 12th question will come from 4th unit and 5th, 13th question will come from 5th unit, right? So, in each question you will have two choices, A, B, A, B. In that two questions you need to attempt any one question, means internal choice you are having in every question. So, 5 questions you will attempt in part A part b which consisting of 12 marks each so 60 marks this is about the question paper pattern now we will discuss about the what are the topics and the units you are having in first unit what you will learn introduction to business organization introduction to business organization this is the first lesson which you are having in your syllabus so whatever the tips uh, whatever the thing we am, I am saying this will be useful for the Usmania University students if you are following any other students any other like Kakatiya University Palamuri University students if syllabus content is same means you can absolutely learn from this okay so second unit is joint stock company you are learning okay and if you are from uh, cec background or intermediate this subject will be damn easy damn easy that topics only is repeating in first year so in third unit functions of management third unit fourth unit planning and organization fifth unit coordinating control coordinating and control these are the five units which you are having in your syllabus content in each unit what are the topics you need to prepare and what are the answers you need to present in the examination booklet now we will discuss from first unit i will give three important questions students what is that important questions means differences between trade industry and commerce this is an important first question in from first unit. 
second question is scope and objectives of business scope and objectives of business is the second important question and the third important question is sole proprietor merits and demerits if you are perfecting with these three questions definitely Lately, you are attempting one long question which consists of 12 marks and one short question which consists of 4 marks, total 16 marks weightage if you all learn these three questions. Okay, if you are perfect with the long questions, no need to learn any separate questions for the short mark. Okay, for long, minimum three sides of answer you need to write and for short four marks, one and a half side. This rules should be followed for the students those who want to score o grade if you don't want to score o grade then two sides or one and a half side is enough for the long and half page is enough for the short okay so three sides is for long one and a half side is for short questions so from unit number one these are the three questions how you should learn the answers scope and objectives of business what is the definition of business and what are its scope in scope there are having certain points like like demand forecasting prediction future prediction cost control these are all the side points if you are perfect with the side points try to write the answer in that matter whatever you will have in that side point try to write that uh, matter by your own okay so this is from first unit students so second unit i will give only two questions in second unit what is this unit name joint stock company in the first question is functions of joint stock company functions and objectives of joint stock company and the second question is merits and demerits of joint stock company these are the two important question definitely one long question will come 12 marks and you can attempt one short also means short whatever the question they may ask you will be capable of to answering that that's why i'm saying that short also you're attempting okay so 12 marks plus 14 uh, 4 marks is, is equal to 16 marks if you are learning this two you need two questions perfectly you will attempt 16 marks weightage in your final examination passing marks is 36 in first unit 16 marks in second unit 16 marks okay total 32 marks you are scoring by learning five questions what are that five questions differences between trade industry and commerce sole proprietors medicine demerits and uh, scope and objectives of business merits and demerits of joint stock company functions and objectives of joint stock company if you are perfect with these five questions how many weightage you will attempt 32 marks weightage you will attempt in the final examination so like this you need to make the analysis okay no need to worry about this subject it's a damn easy subject in from third unit functions of management this is the unit name functions of management in this also i will give all the three questions the first important question is henry fayol 14 principles henry fayol 14 principles you need you are having in this question 14 principles you need to explain in the answer like first is division of labor you need to keep the side reading like this what is mean by division of labor like this you need to write after that the second point is scalability versatility these are all the principles try to buy hard the side points of that principle and try to write the answers that matter by your own to be frank if you are perfect with the de uh, definition and side points nobody will uh, read this uh, matter whatever you have written in the answer booklet okay so this is an another important tip and uh, second question in from third unit is levels of management levels of management and the third important question is functions of management out of these three questions, definitely one long question, 12 marks, one short question, 4 marks, 16 marks weightage by learning these three questions. 
what is mean by level levels of management in levels of management you need to draw the diagram it will be more impressive this is a triangle ma top level middle level bottom level first level who will be there second level who will be there administration will be for the first level employer will be at second level third level is employee okay so this is the diagram you need to draw if this levels of management question is asked means if you draw this diagram means the paper character will get impressed by seeing your answers from unit number three this one ma so from unit number four mbo differences between formal and informal organization line and staff organization these are the three questions you need to be perfect one definite long question you were going to attempt for 12 marks and one definite short question you are going to attempt for four marks which consisting of 16 marks by reading this three questions from 14 it also by reading this three questions attempting 16 marks so now we will discuss about the fifth unit fifth unit you are having in that decentralization topic delegation of authority and the third is centralization if you are perfect with these three questions 12 marks pakka question four marks pakka question you will attempt okay 16 marks you are attempting 16 marks weightage you are attempting by reading these three questions means in first unit you are learning 16 marks attempting 16 marks second unit 16 third unit 16 fourth unit 16 15 fifth unit 16 16 marks 16 marks 16 marks 16 marks 16 marks you are attempting total how many marks 80 marks you are attempting 80 marks question paper you are attempting 80 marks 70 marks only you have got 10 marks for the mistakes and 20 marks your question college faculty will be allowed to you total 90 marks which is O grade now the crucial task how you need to present the answers in the answer booklet now I will tell you about the booklet how you will get as you are a semester one student you don't know how the booklet will be there everything now we will discuss okay so students this will be your booklet ma like this you will get your booklet single rule booklet you will get not plain and the paper correction is digital correction not manual use only black pen total black pen you need to use no you to you should not use any blue pen or any other pens okay only black pen digital correction it will be only black pen if you are attempting part b ma like this you should write part b draw one line here okay here you write question number which question you are attempting 10th question you are attempting 10th question in 10th question you are attempting a question or b question b question you are attempting b okay what they have asked what is mean by business explain the scope and objectives of business they were asked definition like this you need to write definition hyphen lower one line here from here business means like this you need to write after writing the definition give one line and here you start scope of business like this you need to present the answers you should not mess up all the things in the answer booklet and try to write big big letters like minimum letter a b c d like this letter some students will write like this as it is a digital correction paper your answer will not be visible okay if you are writing small small thing in computer that that will be visible huh? no so try to write nicely okay so if you are using black pen means the words which you have written in the answer booklet will be clear if you are using blue pen also means it will show you as a black pen only for them but 
if you are using blue pen instead of black pen the spellings and strikes will be there and the one more thing is uh, if you are if you should not strike like this some students will do if they have written the the scope soap they have written they will strike like this you should not strike like this if this word is mistake give one bracket and in that just into mark give one bracket and into mark like this you need to strike no need to, you should not strike all these words in first paper only because the impression will be lost so this is the things you need to follow for the examination students no need to worry about that no need to get tensed about that whatever the questions i have discussed in this video will be help you out and uh, for the passing marks everything okay so many of the students are requesting every day about this semester one your timetable was not released no so you are having plenty of time to for the preparation so like this you need to how much you are preparing is not important ma how much you are presenting how you are presenting in a unique way in the answer booklet is important okay so like this types of tips and tricks you need to follow okay so this is all about the video if you are having any doubts related to the bom subject or if you want any important questions video previously i have uploaded ma you check out in our channel you will find and the coming back to the notes pdf i have uploaded the notes pdf in telegram group the links will be given in the description box if you want to join in that link in that group means you can join with the link okay if you are having any doubts related to the bom subject or related to this video or related to the other subject uh, you can comment me in the comment section definitely i will try to answer each and every comment okay once again all the very best for your examination and preparation if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and friends group okay because this video will be useful for them also if you share like this all if you will do means i will also get boosting uh, to do for the further videos okay i hope that you have got clarity about this subject i hope that this video will be useful to you all see you all in next video bye bye students